I'm a makeup artist and people always think that I am judging their makeup when I meet them, but I'm not. But I will say that the one thing that usually goes wonky is eyeshadow. And I think also eyeshadow is probably the one of the more trickier things. So I'm gonna show you just a really, really simplified way to nail it every time. The most important thing is having a really tiny, round, fluffy brush. It doesn't have to be this small, but it definitely helps if you're a beginner. This is a What's Up Beauty R108. I believe these are on Amazon. So today I'm gonna stay pretty neutral and I'm gonna take this mid-tone here. And I do like to start with just a slightly lighter shade that is a little darker than my skin tone, but not necessarily the darkest shade. And then I'll just pull that into the crease. As a starting point, this should look like almost nothing. This is just gonna give some buffers for when we do go in with that darker color. You want to always apply things in a gradient if you don't know what you're doing. So that's the first step. And then you're gonna go ahead and pick your next darkest shade. So for me, it'll be this one right next to it. And it's more of like a cool-ish brown color. Those sort of cool tones are really good to put right in the socket of the eye because it will shape the eye. If you put a warm tone there, it'll look bronzy and pretty. But if you do a cool tone right into that crease, right almost like underneath the bone, then you'll get this contour to the eye that really pops it and makes the eye look larger. And it depends on your eye shape, but try to keep this shade nice and low, right into the socket of the eye. When you open your eye, you want it right in that crease that forms, and you don't wanna fight against your eye shape. The only exception to that is if you have hooded eyes, then you are actually going to take that shade higher than the crease, and you are gonna technically fight that shape. Also, always start on the outer corner of your eye when you're going ahead and applying that color when the brush has fresh pigment on it, start on the outside because if you start on the inside, uh, it's gonna be a little bit too dark, too heavy. You want a gradient with the darkest out here. For daytime, you could honestly just stay here, but if you wanted to darken it up, then this is when you would go in with your deepest color. I'm gonna take a little bit of that rich brown there, just a tiny amount on this brush. And mind you, we're still using the same brush and we're just gonna go right in that outer third of the eye now. And this time we're blending it down towards the outer corner of the eye. This is where we're gonna connect this. But this is kind of what makes it look more smoky and it connects everything together. Now I kind of blend as I go with this same brush because this is a blending brush. So you kind of want to apply and blend at the same time and always take a really small amount of pigment onto your brush. There's no need for you to have more than just a dab, especially with more pigmented eyeshadows. If you spray too much powder on this brush, it's gonna get all over your face. Now from this point is when you'd pick your lid color. It depends on the look that you're going for, but for me, I like to put light and bright shades on the lid and I'm just taking a slightly larger fluffy brush. It would also be really good to use a flat brush, but as long as you can tap the product down where it goes, it doesn't matter what brush you use. And I like to tap this right across the lid into that shade there, and then I just kind of stop. There's usually not too much blending that has to be done there because these are all matte shades, and we already kind of blended them out. It's like a highlighting and contouring method for the eye to make it look larger. If you want to stay matte, you can be done here. I prefer to stay matte, but if you want shimmer, this is now the point that you would do that. 